quick update. Yeah, okay, I'm getting. I got sound. All right, so now my package list has grown to 938 packages. Whoop de freaking do! But the most important thing is I was able to actually build some Python, some Python 3.4 packages as a result of my cheating and building the PYOs and PYCs in uh, Linux. Right now I'm struggling with um, library something or other, uh, some kind of library. Uh, <coughs> I think it's li library XCB and it wants, it wants a goddamn Python part and one of these time modules isn't coming up. <coughs> it doesn't seem to be having as much problem building stuff. Some PYOs and PYCs are showing up in these smaller things, but <coughs> still seems mostly broken. Meanwhile, you, know, you can see from my list here, I got a lot of A-spell packages. I only speak one of those languages. So, um, a bunch of fonts. Oh, we're not there yet. Page with all, all the text, text, text. That those are fun. <coughs> <coughs> I did have a few tricks I did today. <coughs> uh, well, everything just kind of worked except for the stuff that didn't work, which is more than obvious. But um, <laughs> please, yeah, Pearl is like, okay, can we just call this one packet, please? Thank you. <laughs> but of course they do, Perl does a lot more than just, these are all things that were made by Perl. That Python 33, that's actually a BS package. I, I just, <laughs> I narrowed the package list down just the, down to just the libraries. <coughs> and here's all my tech stuff. So you can see, I have more fonts. I have a lot of fonts, but I have no word processors. I have, a lot of X libraries, but no web browsers. <laughs> it's like that. Um, how far am I from from the highest, newest, latest, and greatest Firefox compiling? This is my list of crap that I need. Of course, you subtract one from that, so I need 41 more at this stage. <coughs> I'm, yeah, I'm having a hell of a time with it. When I do the presentation, I'll probably be like, okay, make install next. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell I've been doing. Um, I haven't really updated these lists. At one point, I had statistics, but basically, uh, it's still it's still small. I mean, if there's 12,700 of these things, then uh, 938. Well, it's about 112. I'm almost at 10%. Okay, give myself a hand. But there again, those are all fonts. <laughs> all right, so I, I did a. I looked over the archives category, and I wanted to see what of all the things that are not a package right now. Why is it? Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six packages that appear to be missing system headers. The headers they want to refer to just don't exist, as far as I know. There are three packages that have their own headers that are missing. Missing. There's a package that needs um, CMake, and CMake's missing a declaration. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages that are missing function calls or declarations. Um, there are there were three packages that were not able to build because Python was having a problem LDing to them, but I may have corrected that by now. In fact, the build I'd made before the one I did on camera was a little bit better. <coughs> Don't ask me why. Um, there's one package where package search just can't find the files it made. <laughs> They're there, I just gotta move them in the right place. Um, there's one Oh no, the three up there were problems with the headers that we have. They're there, but there's problems with them. 
at least by what these packages believe. These packages could be screwed up. It's Archangel, GCPIO, and HPAC. Um, there are, there's one that's missing its own header. Um, there are three packages that have hard links. There's one that has P threads. Turn the page, you can do it. <sighs> there are two that depend on OCaml, which initially needed the math library. But I fixed my, I had commented out the math library build link, so now it's, it has an undefined reference. Um, so OCaml I can't do yet. I have to figure out the undefined reference. Uh, there are three packages that are missing the same Perl header, inet h. Um, there are three that need PHP, but it fails the build test. Uh, there's one where LD seems to be broken. Don't know why. Um, there are two that I have to do some heavy porting because they're specifically marked as not supported. It just means that you know the configure file hasn't been changed heavily to include the uname of Haiku in it. Two of them need Ruby, and I haven't been able to build Ruby. And there's two of them have package conflicts, and, and there's one that actually is missing the math library. I could do another run and probably get three or four out of this, because today I had there was one significant thing that I found out. Um, there's a guy named Jonathan Perkin does a very good job <coughs> with um, package source. In package source, most of the things you can do with it are actually undocumented. Um, so, one thing that was really huge, and I'm going to do this over here. These are some entries that I have. Building transform, I don't know what the fuck that means. All I know is that at the end of the day, if I have that line with the minus LM, if, um, if the configure script is looking for the math library, and BOS already has that in live root, you know, it fails for no reason. So that, that, might, that causes the configure script and the make file compilation just simply to not fail if it's looking for the math library. So you don't need to patch for it. Um, two of them are two variations on pthreads that I that I had, and there's another one that there was a the L socket was coming up. So I had an error because L, couldn't find L socket. Well, BOS doesn't have L socket. Has the net the network library, which I'll get into next. There's a subclass. And basically, lines 20 through 24 there, it's based on a blog from Jonathan Perkin. I just put this in make.conf. I don't mess around. <coughs> so I just, the way he explained it is I, you just define the name of a set of rules. And that one's called libs. And um, when, when do I want the rule to apply? Just after configure ends, but before the make file starts. Um, then I want to display a message saying, adding the Haiku L network to libraries. Then um, I want it to look for a file called makefile. It's got to be capital M. I may add some more varieties to that. And because that might solve some of my problems. Um, and then this the last one, this said lives, is just a really. They made Unix, so commands had to look crazy, ugly, and unintelligible, but basically all it's saying is if the word L flags is there, put L network next to it, <laughs> minus L network next to it, and build that into the make the make file, because I've I've had some make files that, um, that all I had to do was add that, and, and it compiled. I like to have a really large make file that I don't have to patch anything. I just can handle with this. But I, I don't know if I'll ever get there. But you know, I didn't know about this this substitute. You know, you can't find that anywhere in the package source book or any of that shit. Building transform, they talk about it in such abstract terms. But I found through experience <laughs> that these things do what I want it to do. Now, supposedly down here, this is supposed to take care of hard links. But I found that if I had this tools platform. Ln question mark equals ln minus s. I found that it 
slowly but surely brings the system to a crashing halt, and that's not good. So that didn't work, but that was provided by Akito Obato, I believe this is the guy that did this. I need to learn. There's so many names involved in this stuff. There's also a guy. Um, I got a lot of documentation up there, but there's there's a guy that was trying to keep his own packet source repository for Haiku um, in Russia. I think it's Haiku Ports RU. It's, it's got package source stuff on there. And he's been very helpful every time I've asked him. <laughs> There's a big language barrier, but I could tell he's, his name's Diger. He, he does good things for. I think everybody does good things. It's just that some of. I think the technology is causing people to crash heads where we'd otherwise be in good shape. That's my quick update. I'm going to go home because I'm tired. But um, I gave up. I was trying to push through this. Um, so I'm probably going to have like 30 more of those damn things. <laughs> and then someday I'll say, oh, I'm compiling Firefox, and I'll probably have 50 function calls to, to fix. So whatever. I'm trying. Uh, I might be able to try Thunderbird build because I have PYSQL Lite going. Um, and I was having some problem with... Um, I don't know if I'll even be able to do Monkey. I might be able to do an early version of Netscape, but whatever, let's see what happens.